Hi guys, I'm Johnny Chivers. I'm a full-time data engineer in the financial services industry during the day and at night I like nothing better than making AWS videos in my spare time to pass on the knowledge that I've learned. Lesson six in this video series about AWS lake formation and data lakes in AWS seeks us to introduce a relational data structure, i.e. I'm going to create a Aurora database and we're going to ingest that into our data lake that we've created in the previous lessons. I'm going to provide all the code that's required for this. I have other videos on this channel about creating RDSs and AWS and getting public access to them. So I'm going to put a link above and you can go have a look if you get a bit lost. I'm still going to give you all the information required to kind of set up this data structure and then ingest it. It's just it won't be as in-depth as those other lessons. There's not really much more theory to cover here because we've done everything previously. So let's just get started and if anything comes up that I think is important theory-wise as we go through on the console, I'll point it out. Okay, let's be logged into the console. I'm going to use an RDS instance that I already have set up called my music database. There's a video on this channel that goes through all the steps to set this up. I'll put a link up on screen now. If you already have an instance, you can carry on with me here. If you don't, follow that link, set up your instance, and then join me back at the console. So once you have your instance up and running, if you're using my um, other video. We have two tables called artist and song and we're going to ingest these into the glue data catalog. So to do the ingest we go to glue and once we've ingested this data obviously we'll make it appear in our data lake. We need to add a connection. Okay so before we actually add a connection what we need to do is go to our security group on our RDS and we have to make it self-referencing. So we go by inbound rules, edit rules, add rule, all um, traffic, I'm going to keep this simple, you leave it custom and then reference your security group back in on itself. Save the rules. So all traffic, all all, but only back in on itself. Go back onto the Glue console, add a connection, give a connection a name, so I'm just going to call this demo music. Connection type, I am using a Amazon RDS, Amazon Aurora, next. Choose an instance, we're using the music instance database is called music password is the same as you've been using all along click next click finish click on it click test connection and then pick a role that you can use to test that connection so I have an access role so I'm just going to use that okay now we have that connection set up let's add those tables into our glue data catalog so to do this let's create a new database and call it music I'm going to call this music. Let's create. Brilliant. Then inside music, inside tables, let's create a new crawler. We'll call this music crawler. Oh, crawler. Let's go next. That's you look at data stores, crawl all folders. Connections actually JDBC. Our connections already there. And then our database is called music. We want to go next. We don't want to add another data store. All right, so then we need to select an IAM role. I'm just going to use my full access one. Um, you can go create one and give Glue full access. The other rules should be okay as well for this, but let's just go full access because we're actually scanning you know, an RDS in this one. We want to put it inside that music database. We don't want to add any prefixes and we're good to go. Finish, let's run our music crawler. Okay, that took about two minutes in total, plus another three minutes to kind of start the crawler up. And you can see that we've got the two tables added. Now, the tables are only the schemas added to our Glue Data Catalog. The data still resides inside this RDS instance that we have set up. So what we want to do as a last step is take the data that sits inside our RDS instance, which we currently have registered inside the music database, and let's get it inside that ingest location. So to do this, We'll go through lake formation just so we keep it kind of easy, even though we're going to end up back on the glue data catalog. So you can now see that we have three databases registered. And the next thing we want to do then is create a job. So let's click jobs. Oh look, we're back on the glue console. I want to add a job. We're going to call this one music uh, ingest parquet. Again, we'll just keep it very simple. I am role. So the IAM role, I'm just going to give it the full access one. It doesn't need that amount of access. You can use one of these other rules, but we'll just keep it simple for now. We are going to ingest it all into here. The one thing to do to keep this kind of simple ahead of time is that we'll go to our S3 bucket now, 
I'm going to add in the two tables that we want. So two tables I'm going to ingest is artist and song. So let's go into the S3 bucket in the ingest. Just in my bronze layer, ingest. Let's add two tables. Uh, create folder. Uh, artist. Artist. Create a folder. And that's create a folder called song. So, so that's going to become my two tables. Back on the console. Let's ingest that. Let's keep everything else as default. Next. Okay. Choose data source. Artist. Next. Change the schema. We always love a bit of schema change. Create tables in your schema. Data store is S3. Format we're going to do is part K. Target a path into the like demo, into that bronze area, into that ingest, and then we're going to do artist first. So select and then click next. We're going to map one to one, see if we have a job script. Um, let's just save that. Let's close it. Let's highlight it. Let's action it and let's run. So quite simply, that's just grabbing the data from my RDS instance and then dropping it into that um, in, into that S3 location. And as you can see, that's off and running. I'll pause the video here and then we'll pick it up once it's back. Okay, the job has just succeeded, as you can see. If we go into the S3 console and we go into artist, you can see then my parquet files have finally arrived. Fantastic. Right, next thing we want to do, we want to go and we want to create a table over this artist um, folder. So if we go back into the glue console and we go to tables and we go, sorry, we go to data, go to databases, go to ingest, go to tables and ingest, you'll see we don't have a table yet. So when I add a table, I'm going to add a table using a crawler. Crawler is going to be artist. We go next, data stores. Scroll all folders, S3, uh, specified in my path, object, Johnny Cherry's Leaf Demo, Bronze, Ingest, Artist, Select, Next, Add another data store, New, Service Rule, uh, Demo, Artist, Ingest. I'm going to copy that because we're going to find it. We're going to go Next, Run Demand, Next. Database, we're going to put it in the ingest and we're going to leave it as is and we're going to finish. Okay, so back over on leak permission, if we go to data permissions, we want to grant permissions, we want to find this rule that we've just created, then we want to give it um, super permissions, databases is ingest and we want that on all tables and it can't grant anything to anyone else. And we grant that back over then onto the console itself. If we go and hit the artist crawler and we run that crawler, it'll take a couple of minutes. So I'll just pause the video here. And then once it's crawled over that data, we should hopefully see the one tables added. And then we'll go to Athena, query the table, and that's just done for the day. Okay, it's just stopping there. And as you can see, we've got that one table added. So if we go into databases, we go into ingest, we go into tables, you can see that that artist table is now there in Port K. We've named, drawn your ID. If we just then jump across quickly to Athena, we've configured it in the other lessons. Click on Athena. We should now have that table available. We do. So let's just then get rid of all of this. Um, and we are looking inside the ingest database. And then we want to see artist. And if we run that query. We can see that our three results are now there. So we've took that data from the RDS. We set up a crawler to get the schemas from the RDS. We then set up a glue job that ran and ingested that data into our data lake ingest bucket. And then we set up another crawler that's crawled over and inferred that schema. So that's everything for today is this kind of bonus lesson on how to ingest from a relational data source. It's, um, it's quite complex. So feel free to go back and go over it again. I've been Johnny Chivers. 
As usual, I'll make all these resources for free on my website, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. And until next time, thanks for watching.